Okay, children. So, we're going to practice the written method for multiplying decimals. And that's the method we use in year six. Right, can anyone tell me what method that is? Put your hands up, please. What method is that? That one. The timesing method. It is the timesing method, but what method is that called? What's that method called? Grid method. Grid method, good boy. Right, can anyone you now to tell the person next to you three different words for multiplication? Go. Three different words for multiplication. Come on. Okay, hands up, let's take some ideas. Dower. Time modification product. Times multiplication product, very good. Lots of. Lots of, absolutely right. Can anyone think of another one? Times multiples. Multiples, absolutely right, and repeated addition, because you're adding, adding, adding. Okay, so we're going to go at multiplying a decimal today. So that's 6 times 1.76. How is it easier to think of a decimal? How is it easier to think of a decimal when you're manipulating it? Think of, think of it as money. Think of it as money, absolutely right. So what would that be as money? What would that be as money? £1.76. £1.76, spot on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is partition the number. So we've got 1.0, which is like £1. 0.7 which is actually like 70p, 0 0.06, which is like 6p, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is 6 times 1. Can anyone tell me what that is? 6 times 1. Is working, guys? 6 times 1. We should all be able to do this. 6.0. clever girl. 6.0. Okay, 6 times 0 0.7. If it's easy, you can take the decimal out make it easier for you. 6 times 0 0.7. 4.2. 2. Thumbs up if you agree with that. Yeah, because it's actually, take the zero out, the decimal out rather, it's 42, put it back in, 4.2. And you cross the tens boundary. 4.2. Okay. 6 times 6, let's do that as 6 times 6. 36. 36. Can you decimalise it for me? 0.36. Fantastic. Right. What's the next thing I do in this method? What's the next thing I do? You add them. Add them all together. So I need to put them into a column addition, don't I? So I'll put 6.0, 4.2, and 0 0.36. Right. What can I do to make the sum look more balanced? And so it's clear to me what I'm doing, so I don't become confused with my numbers. What could I do? What could I add in there to help me? I'd like the correct word for it as well. Put the 0.0 no, no at the end. Please. Put a what at the end? A zero at the end? What do you mean? Put a... Yeah, zero. Good lad. Put a zero. What do we call that zero? Does anyone know the word for it? Placeholder. We'll put a placeholder in. So I add the zero, and your sum is nice and balanced. So, we're going to carry the number as we add them. So, 6 add 0 is 6. 2 add 3 is 5. And what do I need to put here? Okay. 6 add 4 is 10. So, my answer is 10.56. Or, you could think of it as £10.56. What I'd like to do now, I'm going to show you a sum. And on your whiteboard, you're going to have a go. So the first one you've got to do here is 7 times 2.06. So partition your number. Make sure you don't have room to do the addition at the end. I'm going to come around and have a look at what you do. Excellent. You partitioned your number. So we've got 2.0. Ah, you've got a funny column there, haven't you? What column do you have in the middle this time? This column. Yeah, it's good you could put that in because it'll stop you from getting confused. We've got some quick workers here today. Excellent. Okay. Right, I can see from the error you've made here, uh, you put your decimal in the wrong place. Now, what you need to think is, 
7 times 2. Would it be 1.40? 14.6. Yeah, you've made the number get smaller. Now, if you were multiplying by 0 0.5, that number would get smaller, but you're not. You're multiplying by a whole number, so you know that's going to get bigger. Okay? Right, has anybody finished the sum they could show, like to talk it through for us? Who is confident enough to talk? <coughs> Doward! The next one. Okay. Hold up your board and talk through what you've done. Seven times. Hold your board round so we can all see, please. Thank you. Seven times zero point two is four. Oh, you've got the right answer, but you've partitioned your number incorrectly. What should that be? Oh, two point zero. Good boy. Yeah, I knew what you knew what you were doing because your answer is correct. Good boy. So partition your number. Yeah. So hold it up and show us again. Then you times seven. Seven times zero is zero. As you, and 7 times 0.06 0 is 0 0.42. 14, then put 14, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.42, and you partition it, gives it 14.42. So you have to do it all together, and it comes to 14.42. Okay, well done. I would agree with that. Thumbs up if you agree with his answer. Brilliant. We'll have a go at one more sum. Let's have a go at this one. 6 times 9.66. Uh, we'll have a go and someone else can talk through their answer. Well done children, you're working really, really well. We have to show your partitioning number correctly, so we want to see 9.0 at the top. Right there, Sabah? Yeah. Good. Right, so think about it, do your calculation correctly, check your working out, take your time, make sure you line your numbers up correctly with a decimal point when you're doing your addition. Check that, that's just that we were talking about with the decimal point error, do you remember? That's 9. Would 9 get smaller if you were multiplying it by 6? Yes. No. So what have you done? Yeah, think about your decimal point. It should be in the correct place. Listen, you're, you're multiplying 6 times 9, so where's your decimal go? Yeah, good boy. Okay, lovely. So what would it be? What you need to add on the end? A place... Holder. Yeah. Make your sum completely different, <coughs> wouldn't it? Now you need to like now what's happened here, make sure your decimal points are lined up correctly because it'll make the sum incorrect, won't it? Okay. There's someone in the door. First you do six times nine is fifty-four. And then you do 6 times 0 0.6 is 3.6. Excellent. And then you do 6 times 0 0.96 and it's 0 0.36. Then we add them all together. And I notice as well, you've been careful to line up your decimal points accurately. And then you add them together and it gives you 57.96. I wonder if you can tell me, what would you do if you got a number that crossed the tens boundary? So that 9 was a 10. Where would you put them? You'd have 0 there. What would you do with the one? What would you do? You put like the one on top. Here? Yes. And what, how would you calculate them? What would you do? You would you calculate the main numbers, then add with So you just one. add it into your number, into your addition sum. Fantastic. I tell you what, children, you have worked extremely hard today and you should be really proud of yourselves. Well done. And thank you for your time. <laughs>